We're nearing completion of the ball fields at Generations Park at Boyd's Ranch. These ball fields will be a prime location for youth baseball and softball leagues from around the region and a great place for fans to see some home runs. Today, we're going to go beyond the fence with Bedford's Mayor, Michael Boyder, to see all of the details firsthand. Great. How are you doing, Abby? I'm doing good. It's good we'd to go see take you. a look at the ball fields. Yeah, absolutely. It's every time I drive by Forest Ridge. Isn't it beautiful? It is stunning so far. And, and then it, now with the canopies up with the blue, it really looks great. Progress is coming along. How it close is. are we to being finished? Apparently we're about 98% done. Awesome. Well, let's go take a look. Let's do that. Okay, so how many ball fields do we have? So we've got three ball fields, um, and I don't know if people are familiar with what we used to have, but we paid a lot more attention to the amenities this time, and, and it's an opportunity for us to really cater to the people who are going to take advantage of these fields and their families and their moms and dads and the other kids, and it's neat how wide open it is between the fields. We've got a warm-up area here, we've got plenty of room here to socialize and for people to kind of spread out, and then we've got a fantastic concession stand that we didn't have before with restrooms things like that. So I think this is going to be a great gathering point for people. Is, does every single field have a warm-up area? The, the warm-up area is essentially in between the field. You can kind of see it through this open area here and some of the grassy fields out here beyond. So I mean it, it's it's going to be able to accommodate three fields here in between. And then we have scoreboards. I mean yep. we have everything here. Yeah and it's it's really neat that, to see this thing kind of develop over time because there's we have an opportunity to kind of step back and say what would we want here and we were able to do it. We were able to envision it and kind of put it together. So it's all credit to everyone who's been involved in this oh, project. Everyone has been yeah. absolutely incredible. It's just incredible. a fantastic looking project. So we're very near completion with this. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see kids out here playing ball. That's the best it's part. It's just going to be fun. That's and, what this and is for. I, um, I see this really as an opportunity for us to, to see families coming together and spending time on, on the evenings or on the weekends. And it's just going to be, it's just going to be really fun to see everyone out here. Now, a very special part about the ball fields is we're tying in some history aspects to it. Yeah. So, Abby, as you probably know, we used to have the form activity center just right over here, yep. what we call the brack. And so the neat thing is we were able to preserve some of the stone off of what was the shell of that building, and we're trying to find ways to incorporate it into the park. You know about the fireplace over at the center, mm -hmm. that we're going to use some of the stone that. there. The Did you talk video. about that? Mm -hmm. And then the neat thing here is that we have six planters that we're incorporating the stone around the planters. That's beautiful. Um, there may be other ways that we can kind of do this in, in some future elements throughout the park, but for now, at least we're, we're finding a way to utilize that stone as best we can. And people, I mean, these are big enough. People can sit yeah, between games. Yeah, it's a great place games. to sit around, talk, have a drink, have a hot dog. You gotta bet. have hot dogs and nachos here. You can't here. do baseball without hot dogs. Now you're speaking of that, we have the concession stand here. Yes. So why don't we head over there and we talk about Absolutely. those hot dogs and nachos. Let's get something to drink. <laughs> All right, Mayor, I want a Coke and a nacho. This is where I'm coming. Okay, you'll have to come back when we open. <laughs> but neat thing is this is designed to accommodate a lot more people. Uh, we haven't had the benefit in the past of having a concession stand like this. But now that we do, we see the opportunity to really kind of keep people here, keep families here watching their kids. And um, So as you can see, there's three windows here. You can get in and out pretty quick. And then in the back, besides the concessions, we also have a family restroom and we have both men and female restrooms. And then we also have a little office area where umpires can go and uh, staff before. Sure, I can go there to get away from council meetings. It's a great space. <laughs> you don't want to do that, though. Do I? <laughs> Okay, so one last spot on the concession area. This right here. Okay, so in the past we were always storage spatially challenged. So one of the things that we did was we incorporated this kind of a storage room. All the equipment we need to maintain the field we can fit in here, it's plus a little bit more room, so it's kind of a luxury we were able to incorporate into this design for the concession stand. Awesome. And then I know this one, this is the question on everybody's mind. When are we expecting these to open? 
So I don't know that there's a finite date that we have in mind. I think when you take into account things like weather, take into account the grass, you know, some of these things that we need to kind of watch grow a little bit. I, you know, I think there's some optimism that we might be able to see the fields opening up beginning of the summer, perhaps. Way, way to kick off the summer, yeah, right? Yeah, it'll be fun to come out here. Awesome. Well, Mayor, thank you so much oh, for no, joining you. us today. We're excited for these to open and to really get Generations Park at Boys Ranch open. Yes, it's going to be a great time, and obviously we're very thankful to the residents and everyone who was a part of this. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. For more information on Generations Park at Boys Ranch, visit bedfordtx.gov forward slash generationspark. Thank you.